Hello everyone, this is the next video tutorial for the new e-commerce systems that BSN Tech Networks has begun utilizing in 2012. In this video tutorial, we are going to do a quick demonstration of how you can go in and manage your orders, see how much has been paid, what kind of possible amounts were fees for credit card transactions, and other information. So first of all, you should have received a username and a password from BSN Tech Networks in order to log into the administrative panel of your website. If you have not received that information, certainly reach out to us and we'll be happy to provide that info to you. First of all, you will log into your website and then you will see a page very similar to the one on your screen. Then you'll hover over Components and then choose Virtumart. Virtumart is the e-commerce shopping cart system that BSN Tech Networks uses to create e-commerce websites. So you are first greeted with a control panel with products which was covered in a previous video, product categories which also was covered in a previous video, and then orders which is this video. So you can access orders from here or over on the left hand side under orders and shoppers and then you can click orders. Now also be advised that if somebody does order an item from your website they can order it but not pay it so that's why it is very important to watch the status. If you are accepting PayPal as your payment selection of choice then the automatic method will be pending for the status. Now if somebody does end up paying for the item via PayPal this should automatically change then to confirmed and then you will also receive an email notification that you received an order on your website. If the person goes to PayPal and does not make a payment it will stay in the pending mode and you should not receive a copy of the invoice in your email. So that's how you'll know if the item was paid for or not. Here it also shows the person who made the order the payment method of course which is PayPal and then you also have several different print views you can also do a PDF invoice or you can just print it. The order date, last modified, and then of course some other options here. Notify the shopper, uh, include comments, update status, things like that. Now to drill down and see the information for the order, you'll click on the order number. In here you can then see some general information when the order was created, the current status, where they came from as in an IP address which is kind of a unique identifier much like a phone number is uh, for the person that made the order and over here you have some general information for updates so of course the date this was added is the same day that the order was put in because it is now status pending when they do pay there should be a different line in here that would then say status confirmed now if you want to update the status or send someone an email notification, maybe like a tracking number or close out this order, you simply choose update status and you get this box come, that comes up. You can then change the order status pending, confirmed, canceled, refunded, or shipped. So of course if somebody requests a refund, you can simply choose refunded, give them a comment, and then if you hit save, you'll see the notify shopper and the include this comment are automatically selected so when you hit save it would email this information to the person that put the order in so of course if you also have it shipped you can choose shipped and the comments you can say thanks for your order your tracking number is make sure these are selected hit save and the individual then will then receive an update notifying them that their item has been shipped if we come back into the rest of the information Actually, it looks like we have to click back on orders and go back into the order number. And then we have general information here, bill to and ship to. It's also very important that you keep track of this because some individuals may have a different billing address as they have shipping. So in the event when you are shipping something out, ensure that you are sending it to the address that is listed over here on the right hand side. Over here is the bill to information with the billing address, city, state, zip code, all of that information as well. Down here it shows what they ordered. Uh, in the previous video we made a shirt and we chose some different sizes and colors. So here they can see quantity of one was ordered of shirt one, 
the size is small, the color is white. And of course this does show again the order status is in pending status, shows the total amount for the items in the cart. Subtotal is $9.99, shipping was $2.50, and there was no kind of payment fee since we don't do a surcharge for allowing for individuals to pay with credit cards. The amount was $12.49 total for this order. Down here it shows the shipment information, just regular post office, um, and the shipping cost. And then lastly over here is your payment method. The payment method was PayPal, full amount of customers payment. You can see here that the individual did not make the payment, so it says zero. Uh, here it also shows the other information, if there's any tax, if there's a transaction fee. PayPal does usually charge 30 cents plus 2.9 percent as of this video for their fees for accepting credit and debit cards. So you will see here how much the transaction fee was that of course was taken out of the amount that you receive. So in general that is how you'll go in here and manage your orders. Uh, the easy way here you can also click previous order and next order if you have several orders that you have to go through. Now if we go back we also have the ability to delete this order or you just put a checkbox in it and hit delete and then it would be removed from the site. That does take care of the information on how to process and take care of order management with your e-commerce website that BSN Tech Networks has created. If you do have any questions or concerns about how to do this, certainly reach out to us at www.bsntech.com and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thanks for watching.